The qualities that make up a good streamer vary from person to person, but something common pretty much across the board is the ability to speak well. Unless you're someone like Faker whose gameplay speaks for itself, being well-spoken and able to engage with viewers is one of the most important requirements in being a good streamer. Almost all the top streamers in the world know how to chat well, and are able to talk for hours by themselves on any given subject. Now, I'm someone that loves watching streamers, but another one of the loves in my life is rap music. And I remember there was a very popular article in 2014 by the data journalism website The Pudding. Basically, they analyzed 35,000 words worth of lyrics by several of the most significant rappers of all time to determine who had the highest amount of unique words in their rapping. After reading it again and laughing at NF's placement, it gave me the idea to try it with streamers. I'm not doing this at all to speak to the intelligence of different streamers, just as a rapper's vocabulary doesn't necessarily equate to their talent. I just thought it'd be an interesting project, and it'd be cool to see how different streamers' content affects their vocabulary. I assembled a list of streamers I wanted to analyze. There wasn't much focused reason for why I chose them, it was mostly because I thought their speaking styles would bring some interesting results, and they're mostly streamers I enjoy watching. Wait a minute. After that, I had to figure out how to actually analyze these people. Be warned to take some of these results with a grain of salt since I don't actually have a data science background, but then again, finding someone that both spends hours a day watching Twitch streams like me and also has a strong computational background is basically like trying to find a caveman that can recite Shakespeare. Thankfully though, the journalist that wrote the rapper piece provided how he did it, a research technique called token analysis. There will be a link in the description explaining it, but basically through Python and something called the Natural Language Toolkit, you can break down large amounts of text and find some interesting stuff. After learning that though, there was still a big problem. Whereas with the rapper project where they had the luxury of pulling text directly from Genius, getting transcripts from streamers isn't readily available. Not only that, streamers watch a lot of videos and talk to a lot of different people during a broadcast, which can potentially muddle any data. I could transcribe from hand whenever a given streamer speaks, but I'm only somewhat of a degenerate, so I had to find another way. Instead, I downloaded random recent broadcasts from each of the streamers, trying my best to sample an amount that reflects their stream time distribution. I extracted the audio, and uploaded that to the AI transcriber Otter AI. This stuff isn't perfect, it's not going to know what who Megalol is, but it does a fairly decent job and should work pretty well for our purposes. What's especially nice is it highlights who is speaking, and allows us to easily remove anyone else talking. You have to do it by hand, but it isn't that bad. From there, I cleaned up each one to be 35,000 words, and finally analyzed all of it with the Natural Language Toolkit. After downloading hundreds of hours of broadcast footage, sorting and cleaning up hundreds of thousands of words, and wondering what I'm doing with my life analyzing Amaranth audio, these were the results. We'll start with Mizkif. Mizkif is one of my favorite streamers, and someone I was very curious to look into. While he's joked about his vocabulary in the past because of his ADHD, he's someone famous for having a stream centered around talking rather than pure gameplay. For Mizkif, he had 3,514 unique words of his 35,000, making his rapping counterpart Trina. Something else cool you can look into is the frequency of words, and for each streamer, I'm going to provide three of their most used words besides stuff like the and 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 so on. For Mizkif, Boxes was at 85, F***ing was at 159, and Chat 164. I wanted to look at another OTK member, so I decided to try none other than Emiru. Emmy usually plays League on stream, so it was going to be a bit different. At least I thought. However, it was actually very close. Emiru narrowly edges out Mizkif with 3,523, also making her Trina, with some of her words being Ult at 74, Mario at 110, and Mid at 116. At this point, I was slightly worried that the results were going to all be super similar, so I went with another OTK member for good measure. Schlatt is a man that can talk. In addition to his charming personality, he has some of the best reaction content on the internet. Schlatt was significantly higher, with 3,827 unique words, ranking him with big crit. His words were Jesus 52, Dude at 70, and Chair at 89. After that, I went with a couple other big streamers, starting with Trainwrex TV. I knew Trainwrecks would be a bit weird, since a good portion of his broadcasts are playing slots, which isn't really the most diverse type of content, so it wasn't too surprising that his word count was a bit lower at 2,978, his words being Spins at 92, Nice at 121, and Drop at 161. Funnily enough, if you know much about Trainwrecks, his closest rapping counterpart was ironically 21 Savage. From there I went to XQC, the biggest streamer on Twitch, expecting a similar result. After all, his streams are filled with a lot of slots gameplay too. However, it was the exact opposite. XQC's word count was actually quite high, 3,725 unique words, with three of the most common being WOW at 81, GOD at 115, and BANG at 123. 
his rapping counterpart, Missy Elliott. I kept the momentum going over to Tyler1. I wasn't sure how it was going to work since the majority of his stream is playing League, however his results were even higher than XQC's at 3729, again Missy Elliott. Tyler1 is known for raging at people, but I had no idea how diverse his word choice was for this. Some of his most common words were destroyed at 53, Michaela at 74, and bad at 81. A was unfortunately not picked up by the AI. After that I tried with Pokimane, whose results were fairly similar with Emaru and Mizkif with 3,599 words, making her salt and pepa. I don't watch too much Pokimane, so I'm not sure if this comes as a shock or anything, but it falls in line with some of the others. Her words were love at 57, team at 102, and god at 145. Next was Ludwig. Ludwig has an English major and is known for his storytelling, so I expected it to be fairly high. However, I'm not sure if this is because of my sample or not, but he only had an average of 3,460, right under what seems to be the standard. His words were guys at 53, uh, ooh at 126 for some reason, and money at 152, his rapper being Meek Mill. I decided to go with some of the people in Ludwig's inner circle, and went with Cutie Cinderella. In addition to League, she does a lot of baking streams, so it was a bit different than some of the others. She did pretty well, with 3,755 words, some of her most common being Watermelon at 64, Chad at 83, and Cake at 90, with her rapper being none other than Kanye West. I went with more of Ludwig's inner circle and tried Amaranth. Amaranth... I don't really know what I expected. To be honest, the AI only picked up like 20% of her audio, so I had to do like 45 hours worth of streams to get to 35,000. And I balanced it out with some of her gaming strings, but still... Uh, she ended with 2,623, making her young boy never broke again. That shouldn't be too much of a surprise. I don't think her ASMR content usually has complex subject matter. Uh, I could be wrong though. Anyway, what was weirder was her highlight words. Little at 72, Account at 97, and Sacrifice at 112. I, I don't even know what to say about that. But then I went with Atrioc, who I expected to do really well. He does a lot of business talk, is always talking about a load of different things, so I expected it to be strong. And yeah, Atrioc just destroyed it. 4,252, making him mop deep. He didn't even really have that many common words, account at 29, sacrifice 34, and code at 43. That's what made it interesting when I went to someone that I was fully confident would do well with this. Ricegum. I know he hasn't streamed in a year, but it seemed wrong not to include him. If you don't know, Ricegum is a rapper that's known for his complex and diverse lyricism, sort of a modern-day wordsmith like Kendrick Lamar and Earl Sweatshirt. That's why it was really shocking when he ranked 2589 with Lil Uzi Vert. His words were like at 142, God at 230, and bro 578 times. <laughs> yeah. At this point, I just wanted to see if I could find anyone higher than Atrioc. I started with Brooke, I always see her posting on Twitter about the books she reads, so I thought it was worth a shot, and it was. She had 4,124 unique words, right by Lil' Kim, with some of her highlights being Kind at 62, Team at 78, and Chat at 110. Still not higher than Atrioc, though. Another good choice that came to mind was Hassan. He's worked as a broadcast journalist before streaming, so I imagined he would do fairly well. And again, it was in the higher range. 4,084 unique words right by Nelly, with 52 courts, 63 states, and 113 dudes. We were moving in the opposite direction, though. I had one last trick up my sleeve, though. Hungrybox. Hungrybox was the winner of OTK Schooled. He had done well in vocabulary in the past, and he was known for his clutch moments. If there was anyone, it would be him. As I calculated his words list, it had been completed. Hungrybox is Eminem. His common words were Rest at 62, Cody at 79, and Tournament at 123. His word count? 4,446. The man's pop-offs are legendary, but his word choice is just the same. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, leave a like, and comment who you'd like to see analyzed in the future. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this again, so let me know. Also, I'm going to be making more videos like this live on Twitch, so please follow me there if you'd like to see more. See ya!